Jim Hoagland, welcome. You are a former foreign editor of the Washington Post, a distinguished journalist, two Pulitzer Prizes. What do you think should be the solution to the Syrian crisis? Well, it has to involve, first of all, the neighbors. Any civil war that uh, provokes foreign intervention uh, has to uh, find its answer in the support of the neighbors for some kind of corrective action. And in this case, it clearly will have to include military means. So I'm looking at Turkey as providing really a key, and Saudi Arabia, which is deeply involved in this conflict. And then the second tier of outside powers to be involved, of course, has to involve the United States and Russia. And also surely Iran. To a lesser degree. Uh, Iran is very much involved in um, the defense of Bashar al-Assad in Damascus, but uh, is not decisive in the way the other powers are. It uh, will probably require uh, a very vital role for France as well, uh, victim of the latest terrorist attack, uh, and therefore paying a direct price in this conflict. I think if France took leadership now, because the United States has clearly declared that it will not, it will lead from behind, whatever that means. Um, and so France has to take uh, initiative in bringing NATO as a coalition of outside powers, an alliance, into this. Turkey is a member. There's pressure points there. Russia seems to be in a more constructive frame of mind recently. The United States is prepared to work out some kind of arrangements, I think, with R Russia on this. So it's going to take uh, concentrated and focused outside pressure. And do you think that organizations such as the World Policy Conference can play a role? I mean, you, you, you come here every year. Does it help? I think it does. It stimulates new ideas. It stimulates new thinking. It gives us a chance to put forward ideas like the one I just tried to outline. Uh, I think it stirs debate, it exerts pressure of an intellectual, uh, political kind, and so I think it's an extremely useful forum, particularly since this is one of the few conferences where you have a real bilingual approach and uh, therefore coming together French and English of European and American attitudes. Jim Hogan, thank you very much. Thank you, John.